Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of Send Me Oh Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, uh, did she even say that she wanted it? Huh? We're going to go both. Oh, man, I stop. Yeah, just, no, don't do that. Don't scare the girl and make her happy again. Even though it's cute, but don't do that. <laughs> uh, I hate the fact that Fruit Basket is coming out at 9 o'clock tonight. I'll be streaming. So I have to watch it literally immediately after I'm done. So I should be done streaming about 11.30. So I'll be streaming... 10, 30, 10, 30, 10, 30. Three hours? Three hours is good. Yeah. Unless I say, I'm only going for two hours, but I, I'm not going to try to get it out today. I think I'm just going to try um, and have it come out in the morning. Like, I don't even know what team, time Demon Slayer comes out. I think it comes out for 12, so. <laughs> Ten thirty or something. She looks so cute like that. I do. Hi there. Well, then you're screwed. What to draw in Kino? Chopsticks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -mm. As someone who likes horror movies, you know, this is going like a horror movie. Mm hmm. And a ghost is going to pop out, and it's going to be what's her face. And she's going to be like, ah. <laughs> Good job. 
job, Kino. Good job. Mm. <laughs> Why are your eyes red? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that. Where's Kino? <laughs> yeah, exactly. She gonna get up is <laughs> right in front of you. It got too dark, too long. <laughs> it's just being so casual. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Cody. I think that was rain. Thunder. Huh? No, I started taking pictures. Oh god, that freaked me out. Jesus, rain. Oh, well, it's supposed to rain all this weekend as well, and into next week. Okay, well, I'll pick you up. Or you can do both.
Oh. You okay? Mm -mm. Just want to live in the moment. No. <laughs> Damn, her glasses. This is probably now my favorite episode of for this series. I mean, to have the test of courage was really nice, and have got them be the <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> I, I love the fact that you know, Lamani had everybody in on it, even Tom. But you know, she didn't figure out the last things, and it worked out perfectly in the end, which is really good. So sometimes you can't always tell everybody your secrets about what the heck you're planning. It's really good, though. Really, really good. It makes me want to do a test of courage. But here in Florida, I know there's like a couple of haunted places here. But, um, bra and black. We don't do that. I watched the kids on YouTube, like, uh, a couple of kids who would do, like, overnight in scary places. And I'm like, look, even though y'all put music over there, it, like, it's still scary as hell. And we're not going to do that. But it's worse when you see, um, like, one black kid with a group of everybody. I'm like, you know, it's about to be a horror movie. You, the, the, you can see we the one token black person. That means you're going to die. That's it. Goodbye. Why are we even trying? Like, no. No. We, we don't do that. We're, we're smart. And we go do something. Everyone else goes like, mm, come on, gang. Like, let's split up and go into this haunted place. You know, this ain't no damn Scooby-Doo. It ain't no freaking Scooby Doo, cause like I swear to God, if Amani was like, "Yeah, guys, let's split up," and it's raining even harder now, um, I would have looked at her and been like, "Hell no, we ain't fucking splitting up. We need to stay together as a group, as one, going everywhere. If we gotta be all hunched together, walking around, creepy and ish, at least nobody ain't gonna get killed." But I, I really just love the way she executed this plan. I mean, it worked out so well in the end, and I mean, yeah, everybody had fun, even though everyone was scared, but at least they got to see the fireworks, and I really need to hurry up and spit a stocking, because it's getting worse, and I hope it doesn't coincide with the fact that I'll be streaming in a couple of hours, but it was a really good episode, and like I said, it is kind of now one of my personal favorites. I mean, between this episode and the episode where um, AG and Annika went on a date together, at, uh, you know, quote-unquote Disneyland. I mean, that was cute as fuck. Yeah, come on. When you take your quote-unquote girlfriend to an amusement park or, like, anywhere, that's just the best time of their lives. Trust me. That's why I want my boyfriend to take me out when he comes to me in October. Yes, because it's going to be the best thing of my life. Best fucking night of my life and stuff. But, yeah, they just too freaking cute together. But, yes. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 10 of Sunrio Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Please don't fall, puppy. God. Um, join the magical squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.